Last year, a brush fire erupted just three miles away from my house, burning 10 acres of land and threatening to destroy dozens of homes. People in my community have been scared to death, constantly wondering when the next fire is going to erupt. Fires are capable of destroying entire towns in just a couple of days, and a solution needs to be brought forth in order to prevent the enormous amounts of damage being done. Today, I want to talk about one idea that I had that may help in the battle against such fires and others as well. But first, let me present an overview of the problem. Fires have caused an enormous amount of damage to my community and others as well. In 2018 alone, there were 60,000 wildfires across the nation, burning 9 million acres of land, making them the most deadly and destructive type of fires in terms of cost and land lost. In addition, the amount of time it takes to stop such fires has been continuously rising. According to fire scientist Anthony Westerling, fires between 1972 and 1983 burned for an average of six days. Now, fires burn on an average of 52 days, almost a 900% increase. As the amount of time it takes to stop these fires increases, the amount of damage they can do increases as well. Of course, there are many different types of fires and they can all start in a variety of different environments. However, they're all destructive and disruptive to society. So how do we prevent fire damage in the future? To find the answer, I'll go over three important points. The main causes of fires, why they take so long to stop, and a possible countermeasure that can be taken. So first, let me take a look at the main causes of fires. Of course, there are hundreds of different ways that fires could start, but there are three key issues. Changes in the environment, human negligence, and deteriorating infrastructure. Our environment has played a key role in influencing the likelihood of fires, and for many decades, our climate has been consistently becoming hotter and drier. According to an analysis done by NASA, global temperatures in 2018 were one and a half degrees Fahrenheit warmer than the 1951 to 1980 average. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change predicted temperature rise of up to 10 degrees Fahrenheit over the next decade. However, it doesn't stop there. NASA also predicts that extreme heat days will change from occurring once every 20 years to occurring once every two or three years over most of the nation. This is a 600% increase. And as the amount of moisture in the air decreases, there's increasing dryness for brush and forests, meaning that they catch fire more readily and more often. Although our environment plays an important role in influencing the likelihood of fires, it's not the only factor. Human negligence also plays a key role in influencing the likelihood of fires as well. From throwing a cigarette bat out the window to leaving a home stove unattended, we humans are another major cause. As just one example, residential fires are extremely common. On July 9th of 2019, an eight-month-old girl died in a house fire which started because of an unattended candle. In 2016, there were 630,000 reported indoor residential cooking fires, which resulted in approximately 700 deaths and 6,500 injuries. I bet everyone in this room has left their stove on on accident at least once. And by doing so, you and your families had the chance to become victims as well. Although negligence is a hard factor to control through any means, it's an important issue that we can't afford to overlook. Finally, let's take a look at infrastructure. Failing utility infrastructures are one of the most prevalent causes of wildfires, especially in California. In our state, dilapidated power lines were responsible for the campfire, one of the most notorious, deadly, and destructive wildfires in California history. Power utility companies allow their power lines to get so worn out that they can spontaneously fall over and start a fire. 
power infrastructure failures are still one of the leading causes of fires each year. Overall, fires can start for a variety of different reasons, ranging from an exploding water heater to Uncle Gary forgetting to put out his cigarette. However, the consequences of fires are very real and they need to stop. One major reason why fires take so long to extinguish is the amount of time it takes for firefighters to arrive at the scene. Delay in reaching fires makes them a lot larger and harder to extinguish. For example, the campfire originally started out as a wildfire, but it quickly turned into a residential problem due to lack of accessibility to the scene. Firefighting still relies on people and machinery in order to get the job done. And in order to mitigate this response time, I've come up with an idea that helps address this problem. In order to reduce this response time as much as possible, I've come up with an idea that I call the Fire Activated Canister Extinguisher, or FACE for short. FACE is a fire extinguisher. It's compact, heat activated, and can be operated both manually and automatically. So what does it look like? It's a can about this big, the canister itself will be made out of aluminum, whose unique properties, such as its resistance to rust and malleability, make it the perfect material for the job. On the inside, FACE would use a fire retardant commonly known as aluminum oxide trihydride, whose unique chemical structure allows it to be perfect for firefighting. When exposed to heat, the compound releases water, which greatly dissipates the energy of the fire, making it a lot easier to extinguish. Upon activation, small ports cut out of the face device will open up and allow for the rapid distribution of the fire retardant all around the surrounding area. Face could have multiple different applications across a variety of fire-prone areas. For example, if two faces were to be hung on the ends of power lines, it could catch any sparks for, from flying off and causing any accidental fires. In addition, FACE could have many residential applications as well. For example, if FACE were to be placed in fire-prone areas of the home, such as next to a fireplace or water heater, it could quickly put out any accidental fires that were to occur there as well. Overall, fires pose a huge threat to our society as a whole, and the consequences occurred by them need to be stopped. FACE is just one example of an innovative solution which may help in the battle against such fires. In fact, it may very well change the face of firefighting as we know it. Thank you.